Good morning David, you arrived very early today, we are starting classes in 10 minutes. Good morning teacher. I have to wake up very early. Now, I got a new job. Seriously? That's awesome. Congratulations. I'm happy for you. Yes, teacher. And it's all thanks to you. Because I studied hard to pass the interview. No, it's my job. So, now. You're working in a telemarketing company? Yes. That's right. I have to make many calls every day to different countries. But... But what? Do you have any problem? You can tell me. In fact, I do I studied hard for the interview and I got the job. But the problem is that now I have to make calls and speak in English. I have to be honest with you, teacher. Sometimes I don't understand what people say and also I can't find the right words to answer them. Oh, I see. Well, you already got the job. Now, all you have to do is practice and practice. I know. But I want to ask you something. Everyone says I need to practice my English, but... What is the best way to practice English? Is there one best way to do it or... I don't know. Because... I started hard for the interview, but I want to know more methods to practice and improve my English. Okay, David. I'm going to tell you the best way you can practice and improve your English. Obviously, there's not just one way to do it. But, as a teacher with 15 years of experience, I have seen many things. And, I can tell you some methods to practice that worked better for my students. Pay attention. Yes, please. I promise, I will do whatever you tell me to do in order to speak advanced English. Perfect. I know, you probably heard this before. But, many students don't do it. Talk to yourself. First things first, you are going to need to get used to talking to yourself. No, this will not make you crazy. A lot of people tell me that all the time. But, they also keep asking me. What is the best way to practice and improve my English? Please, start talking to yourself. Especially, if you don't have a partner to practice with. Or, if you're scared of speaking in English. That is one of the best ways to improve your English. In fact, you will probably find you feel more comfortable trying out new English words and phrases alone. Before you try them out in conversation with someone else. When you find yourself alone in your home or dorm, talk a lot about what you're doing, such as describing the meal you are cooking. And don't just tell me, yes, teacher, I will do it really, do it. You don't know how much it helps. Also, listen to yourself. If you do not have anyone to practice English conversations, Look for English language apps that have a recording tool. Use the recorder to record yourself. And then, listen to it. Do you sound like the English speaker you are repeating? Take note of what sounds and words. 
you are struggling with and practice speaking them aloud into the recorder. You will have to get used to listen to your own voice while speaking in English. It can be funny. Or, if you don't find an app, you can just go to Google Translator or any other online dictionary. Most of them have this option to listen to the pronunciation of the word or sentence written. And, it would be much better if you watch yourself talk. Believe me. Another unique way to practice speaking and build your confidence is to use a mirror. You will be able to see how your mouth moves and forms words as well as your body language. Because it's not just to speak in English. We usually express our emotions while speaking. So, if you're saying, for example, I won the lottery, you must sound really happy, right? Then, that's the secret to make that word or sentence sound more natural or native. For example, when I record my voice for the YouTube videos, I try to do that. And talking about videos, you can also try read along with subtitles. It helps a lot. Whenever possible, you should use subtitles. While subtitles also help you learn how to read in English. You can also use the subtitles to practice reading aloud. When you read aloud, you are speaking. Usually, students ask me, Teacher, I like your videos. But, I want to improve my speaking, not my listening. Man, they don't realize they can practice all the skills with these videos. Seriously. That's why they have the text this big. Because, they can practice reading, they can also write it down. To practice writing. They are improving, they're listening, and also, they can repeat aloud. To practice speaking. Oh, and here comes a secret tip that, I used to improve my English. Whenever, you watch a movie, series, or video, with people speaking English, imitate their accent. And, not only that, you can try imitating their expressions, tone of voice, and those kind of things. You're wondering why? Because, it will help you adapt those expressions to make it more natural. And, I'm not telling you to imitate the person forever. Only at the beginning, to get used to it. Then, you could do it with your own tone of voice, expressions, and so on. Just try it, please. Oh, this way to practice is something new. But, it can help you a lot, speaking English to a virtual assistant. Set up any virtual assistant tools you use, such as Siri, Google, or Amazon Alexa, to speak in English. Not only will the virtual assistant speak in English, but you must also speak English to get a response. Additionally, this is a great way to improve enunciation. Just if you can do it. What else? Oh, order food in English. Whenever you have to go out to eat, order your food in English. This actually applies to any time you're speaking with a customer service representative. Some companies have bilingual workers who are prepared to answer in English. Try that. Another thing that works really well is practice with a native speaker directly. Face to face. Yeah. I know. You're wondering, but I don't have a friend who is a native English speaker, right? This is something that is considered as a little difficult to do. But, it's one of the best ways. 
Prepare a survey, some questions, you have to make it as professional as possible, remember that. Then, you'll go to a tourist place. A place in your city where English speakers usually go to visit. Then, ask them to help you answer in some questions. Ask them politely, please. Some of them may not accept. But, you can find some tourists that will be happy to help you. Just have confidence in yourself when asking. It's an excellent way to practice your English. Awesome. Thank you, teacher. I'm taking notes of all those tips. What else? Oh no. I'm busy. Maybe next time. Just if you guys want another video about ways to practice and improve your English. That's all for today. I hope you like this video. I hope this video will help improve your English listening skills. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. See you again in the next videos.